Dustin Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Alien Ranger figures from Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. These were the main figures released for these guys during the, the period of time that the Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers series started. And I know what you're thinking. Doesn't gold have a headband too? And by gold, don't you mean yellow? First of all, yes to the yellow thing. Second of all, common misconception. Due to the Mandela effect, many people believe that yellow always had a lead band. Headband. Wow. I can't even do a joke. Wow, guys. Anyway. Yes, I know he's missing the headband. Unfortunately, I lost it when I was younger. I'm in my parents' front yard. Still looking for it. No, I probably won't find it now because they replaced their grass. So I don't think it's there anymore. But yeah, so that's unfortunate because as per usual with these retro reviews, I am missing some things. I don't have everyone's weapon, but I do have the two main weapons that they all come with. So I'll be able to show that off. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go left to right because I said so. So these figures are kind of interesting, because this was back in the day when we largely just had either the flippable figures, or the basically the flippable figures that didn't flip, or larger 8-inch figures. And these were smaller little figures um, that we did actually get here for other series, but they were more so used for uh, things like bike figures. Um, but they're pretty well articulated. They have some good range of motion there. You got some swiveling here. You see the little... Uh, peg coming out of his hand there so he can hold his weapon. You got a solid rain of motion on his leg. Also, you can probably see there's going to be little scratches and dings everywhere because I've owned these forever. Uh, you got knee joints here. These are a little bit rusty, so you'll have to excuse me. Um, and then you got the head articulation here. But to be honest, I've always been a big fan of these figures. I always liked them when I was little, and I like them now. They're a really nice sort of like retro figure, like I like the style of them, and I think that their like skinny stature actually fits the Rangers well and just kind of fit, fit, fit fitted the Alien Rangers well, excuse me, slash the Cocker Rangers, because I always felt like they were smaller to me. Anyway, they all do both come with their standard uh, blaster weapon and sword weapon. Um, this does not have uh, the sword weapon, but it does have the blaster weapon, and they're that kind of standard, you know, all one color plastic that Power Rangers toys are known for, um, especially, you know, back in the day and in the regular day during Bandai. Here we have Blue, who's a little bit more messed up, so like these scratches might not be a part of yours depending on where you get it. He was always my favorite, both the character and the suit design. I don't know, I always just really liked him. Um, same articulation, you know, you got your, your blaster here, you got the sword here, which, as you can see, pops on there, which I actually really like that, uh, the way that this pops on here, because it fits in with the sword design, and I actually like it that it uses the hole here that's for the, the screw on the toy rather than just coming up with the second one. And you can also see there's all kinds of little, speaking of screw holes here, it looks like he had some, his, some serious work done on the back of his head like he's in a mental asylum. It also is worth noting that the blue color on this guy um, isn't accurate to the show. Um, the, um, I mean, neither is the Black Rangers to be honest. You think this is the same? Obsidian, Onyx, Midnight, no. Um, but the blue in the, the Cocker Ranger, Alien Ranger suit is like a unique lighter blue. So I thought that was worth noting. It's something I honestly didn't think about too much when I was little, but now that I'm, you know, more into collecting and uh, reviewing, obviously, I noticed a little bit more. Here we got Red, he's a little bit less beaten up here, and then you get down here, damn boots, you know how it is. But you got the same articulation going on, same uh, accessories. I also do have the Battle Borgs, which came out in a similar line to this. Um, I'm trying to track them down, and again, I, I do own them, I'm not trying to track them down on eBay or something, I'm just trying to find them in my parents' house, I, just, I can't find them. You've also probably been noticing that each of the headbands has their little individual symbol, which is neat. This one isn't too bad with it. This looks a little faded here, and then it doesn't help that, like, I don't know if you can even tell. I can tell both regular and through the camera, regular just being my eyesight, but there is a, a different white plastic here than right here. Like, this is much more like the undershirt, and then it's kind of a different white color for her um, main suit. It's kind of hard to tell. It was, to be fair, it was always hard to tell, and I don't think that has anything really to do with the aging process. But just to show this, you know, this is that classic, you put this in here. And there you go. That always kind of worked out nicely. Like, it made it so that your toys didn't lose their um, their weapons. But yeah, this was such an interesting figure style. They did use these for the MMPR cycles, the Zeo cycles, the Turbo Robo Racers and stuff like that. Not that that's Robo Racers, it's Centurion. But they're, they're little go-kart racers. And um, they use them for in-space gliders, I believe. I believe it was kind of a more common figure type in Japan, if I recall correctly. But yeah, normally, he's supposed to have a band there, I'm sorry. You can, like, store stuff in there. No, you can't. But I'm sorry that I messed up with that, unfortunately. I'm planning on trying to track down a, um, 
a non messed up version of this guy. I'd actually like to get cleaner versions of everyone because I really do like the Alien Rangers and I like these suits. So I'd like to have a non beaten up version of them. But I know that sometimes these can be a bit harder to track down so I am grateful that I actually have had these since I was younger. But anyway, overall, I actually really like these figures. I mean, they're not as high quality as something like a Marvel Legends or a, a figure art or even some of the, uh, in some ways, some of the action hero figures, they're kind of a bit dated. But I still think that they hold up in a unique way because they're a bit different than the standard sort of muscle figures that we got back during this time period or the the flip head figures they just kind of stood out because we used like basically what at the time was sort of the bike figures for these but it really worked and i think they work well as representing the team on the shelf for a collection but also representing the design of the rangers because they always felt a little bit skinnier and smaller compared to other rangers to me and so if you really want figures for these guys and you're into sort of like retro collectibles like oh this was really cool of the times they use these and I could definitely recommend checking them out they're still one of my more uh, fond items in my collection anyway that's about it until next time don't like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you get all the notifications for my videos Dawson Ryder signing out